वेलकम टू द फिजिक्स क्लास टुडे वी शैल डिस्कस अबाउट द लॉज ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन वी ऑल कम अक्रॉस दिस टर्म इन आर डेली लाइफ एज यू कैन सी इन ऑन द स्क्रीन द ब्यूटिफुल स्नो कैप माउंटेन इज सीन इन द सीन एंड स्टिल वॉटर ऑफ द लेक दिस इज द रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ द माउंटेन इन वॉटर Reflection is a phenomena where light passes through one medium falls on an interface and bounces back into the same medium let us see the very two important laws of reflection there are two statements for it the first statement says angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection let us look at the diagram given below here you see a mirror placed on which light is incident the incident light has an arrow head which shows the direction in which it is traveling when the light falls on the mirror at the point of incidence we draw a normal a normal is a line which is perpendicular to the mirror at the point of incidence now the angle that the incident ray makes with the normal is called as angle of incidence at the point of incidence the light ray gets deviated and travels in the form of reflected ray the angle that the reflected ray makes with the normal is called as the angle of reflection the law of reflection says that angle i is equal to angle r i stands for the angle of incidence and r stands for the angle of reflection let us take an example to see this say the incident light falls on the mirror making an angle 30 degrees with the normal then the reflected ray will also make an angle of 30 degrees with the normal and will travel back into the medium thus i is equal to r the second statement says that the incident ray the normal to the mirror at the point of incidence and the reflected ray all lie in the same plane here you see there we are talking about these three lines the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal all these three always lie in the same plane means they are coplanar so these are the two important statements which constitutes the laws of reflection now let us see how the laws of reflection works and we get the image formed in a plane mirror we all are very much familiar with the plane mirror we all stand in front of it before leaving the house what we see in the mirror is the image of ourselves the image formed in the plane mirror has got some very important characteristics first of it is the image formed is virtual and erect now what is a virtual image a virtual image is an image which cannot be taken on a screen there are two types of images real image and virtual image real image are those which can be taken on a screen like you lit a candle and you bring a cardboard in front of it you will see the image of the flame of candle on the cardboard here even if you are standing in front of the mirror and you can see your own image in the mirror but you cannot take your image on a screen that is why the image formed in plane mirror is said to be a virtual image an erect image is a one which is upright as the object is like if you hold a pencil with the pointed tip upward in your hand then the image formed in the plane mirror will also have the tip of the pencil pointing upward so it is an erect image the another type of image is inverted where the image will be upside down so the first point of 
characteristics for image formed by plane mirror is that the image formed is virtual and erect point number 2 is the image is of the same size as that of object if you are a person of height 5 feet then the image formed in the plane mirror will also be of 5 feet that is the size of the image does not change third point says that the image is laterally inverted now lateral inversion is the one where if you move the right hand of yours then the left hand of the image will appear to be moving so this right hand and left hand relation is what is known as inversion and that too it is the lateral inversion same is the case if you move your left hand the image formed in the mirror will appear to be moving its right hand so the image formed is laterally inverted the fourth point is distance of the image and the object from the mirror is same say you are standing 2 feet in front of the mirror then your image will be formed at 2 feet behind the mirror the distance of the object and the image from mirror is always same so these are the important points of characteristics of image formed by a plane mirror hope you have enjoyed this lesson of today's see you in some next class Thank you